Writing a viral Twitter thread is hard, but what if I told you there was an easy way to do this? A way that you could automate it and you could do it over and over again. On top of all of this, it will probably only take you about 30 minutes per week and you could do this weekly, monthly and yearly and keep attracting more customers, more subscribers and more followers. So in this video, I'm going to show you the app I use to do this and the exact process Process that I follow to go viral on Twitter over and over again. Just before we get into that, I'm going to mention our gentleman's agreement quick. That's the agreement between us. And what that means is I'm going to keep producing amazing content, videos like this about how you can save time and go viral on Twitter. And all I ask in return is that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get into the content. So this is Tweet Hunter, and this is where I create viral Twitter threads and viral tweets tweets as well. So one of the first things you're going to want to look at in this application is the daily inspiration. You can find it on the tab here on the left. And when I click on daily inspiration, what it does is an artificial intelligence engine generates tweets that have done really well. And of course, threads that have done really well. And you can edit the feed here. So we have it set for people who are writing a book, novelists, authors, things like that. And so a good example here is here's a tweet um, where it says, are you an indie author looking to send review requests? I'm not an expert, but you know, I've got some suggestions for you. So what I can do is I will click on edit and tweet. Now that's just going to pull in the very first part of the tweet. And so if I want to see the rest of the tweet, what I need to do is click on see on Twitter that will open it up on Twitter. And then I'll be able to see the full thread there and I can get the gist of what he's writing about. And then I can add to it. Uh, one of the first things I'll have to do so it says, of course, this is too similar. You can't plagiarize. You can't just copy you know, what someone else has written. So I'll have to take this and adapt it. Um, so what I might say is, you know, are you a you know, new author looking to send review requests to, let's say, newspapers? And then it will say keep going. And of course, the more I edit this, then eventually it will be completely different. So that's just to give you an idea. And then what you would do, of course, is tap down and then you would put in, you know, this is the first suggestion and you would, you would explain that. The other element to this is that you would go to thread ideas. So this is a great place to get an idea for a thread that you want to write that could go viral. So let's say writing a book quickly click on generate and what it's going to do is come up with some reasons you know that you should write a book, how to write a book quickly so this one has come up a little bit different let's try why self publishing is better than traditional publishing type too fast here. And if we click on generate, again, it's going to generate some new threads for us some thread ideas. So to give us a jumping off point, if you will, um, you know, biggest mistakes, most self published books fail, um, you know, 10 reasons to self publish. I like that one. So when I click on generate a hook on that little button there, uh, what it's going to do is actually generate a bit more. And that's this thread starters tab. So here it's going to say, you know, here are 10 simple reasons you should self publish your book. And then writing a book is the easy way. A few little mistakes here, but you know, you get the idea getting highly distributed 10 reasons to self publish. So you can kind of come up with some ideas. I like this one. I'm going to do edit and tweet. Um, so that gives me a starting point. And then of course, what I can do from there is I can add to that thread. So I'll start with number one reach here is more detail. But the other thing you want to look at when you're using Tweet Hunter is you want to have a look at this bit here. So it has a tweet predict analysis. And what you want to do is make sure that this is high. So this particular tweet predict, you know, in terms of the analysis, this probably isn't going to go viral. Um, it's probably most likely because we have all these other elements in here. But the other thing it might suggest is that, you know, this just isn't a good hook. It's not very popular, which seems to be the case. So what you want to do is make sure this is as high as possible. So this one, for example, I'm not going to go ahead with this. I wouldn't finish writing it because the tweet predict is really low. So you would go back to the drawing board and come up with a new tweet idea, a new hook idea, a new thread idea, and make sure that that analysis is as high as possible. Of course, it's not always going to be right, but it's a good starting point. 
So there you have it. That is how I use Tweet Hunter to create viral Twitter posts and viral Twitter threads. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with someone who could benefit from some marketing advice and potentially some more leads for their business. Please do give the video a like and also subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more videos like this to come in the future. And finally, please pop a comment down below if you have any questions about Tweet Hunter, about how it works, or just marketing in general when it comes to Twitter or any other platform for that matter. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.